Okay, this is a demonstration of a test for a idle air control like this one here. I'm not going to take mine off, that's why I have a spare here. Let's keep this here for a second. So the first thing we want to make sure it has a voltage. The ignition is turned on. So, we can't, it only has two pins, so that makes it easy. <coughs> the left pin is operational voltage, which is 12, 12, 13 volt, of course. And then the right side is where it's, get it, where it's controlled. If we measure in DC, it re shows about 4.3 volts. So, but it is PVM, pulse with modulation. So there's actually AC on there. So if we have a meter that can do a little more like this one here, we can go here and measure the percentage. And this will show us the percentage. So right now it's open 28%, which may differ on yours a little bit because it depends on temperature and I use a different ECU, so this is all a little different. So since most of you probably don't have this here, yeah, so I'm going to go back and measure just the DC, which averages the voltage. So turn this off again. On your engine, if you start it up, turn the ignition on. For the first second, it will go all the way down to zero. This one doesn't do it. But there you go, it shows 4.3 volts. Yours probably goes down to like two or so if you use a OEM ECU. So now let's see what that thing's actually doing. I'm gonna turn the ignition off. Here's our valve. Let's see, here's the valve. Here's the cylinder, this thing is pushing back. And back here sits the, it's the motor that drives this thing. This comes off, hope this is all. So now I'm gonna make sure we can see this here. So now we can see the cylinder. Let me zoom in a little bit, see if I can go a little closer. And turn the ignition on. And we should see. How it moves back. And you can also hear it making a little bit of noise there. But as we can see now, it pulled back here, the cylinder pulled up, and now the air channel from here to here is almost open. You can test this on the bench. You can just put 12 volt on the two pins and it should open all the way. Okay, so I'm so I can control this thing, since I have an MS3X in here, I can control the idle valve in the test mode. I want to do this here for a second. Okay, so now I just turned it off. You can see it completely closed. If you blow into it, you should actually have high resistance there. No air should be able to pass. Oh, sorry, I had this the wrong way. Now it's all the way off. <laughs> you can see how it's closed. And now I plug it back in. There, it opens all the way. That's all it does there, these two, three millimeters up and down. And I can set it, so on, off, off, on. You can do this on the bench all day long, just by adding 12 volt to it. Should go open and close and it should move fairly smooth. Okay, let's see what this looks like on a running engine. Okay. Comes off. Goes on here. I'm gonna go into the right side again. Get that in here. Measuring 0.6 volt right now. I gotta reset my engine. So I did a reset of the ECU. Now we can see it's pulling four volts. So that's probably 70% open for the startup. My temperature is just about 70 degrees today. Okay, let's start her up. There we go. Like this, this, and this. Turn the water on. Zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. There we go. And there we go. Now of course this moved off. So now we can see it's 
going actually up slowly that means it's closing the valve and we can hear the idle actually coming down hope you can see this see now it's now it's controlling the idle on the cold engine coming up to right around eight volts and that's it 